Hi everybody, in today's video, I'm going to do a paint your nails with me using um, People of Color Beauty Simply Terrania and um, China Glazes Celebert. So I have been dying to wear this since I picked it up. Um, as you guys know, I've swatched for People of Color Beauty before and um, when I saw this green, I was like, I have to have it because she has some really amazing formulas. And then um, I picked up a lot of polishes from the Sesame Street Muppets collection. This is sort of like a gold, but it has some green to it. So I think this will be a really nice combination um, for the green and gold untried. So I've already taken off my polish um, and I already um, did my cuticle removing. As I've told you guys in the past, I use Blue Cross Cuticle Remover to do my cuticle removal. Um, and then I also, um, this is the um, cuticle oil I've been using, California Mango. I love the smell of this. And so what I'm gonna do next is just um, oil up my cuticles after doing the removal. I already filed and shaped my nails as well. Um, I have a video on that, so I will link that down below for you guys. So basically I just um, put the cuticle oil right around the cuticle. I just kind of put some dabs there. And then I um, really work it in and I get it on the nail as well, not just the skin around it. I really get it into the nail bed and um, into the nail plate because I feel, I'm really close up here, people. Let me come out. <laughs> I feel like this really helps with a nail growth. Um, so that's the first step I do. And then I do not take the oil off of the nail. Um, to paint. I leave the oil on and I just paint over. Um, so I go in with my base coat and I'm going to be using Orly Nail Defense Strengthening um, Protein Treatment. So Walker said she used this and Carolina and Amy Sue picked some up so I decided to try it too. Um, I do like it. I think it helps the nails, um, the stuff, the, it helps the polish stick to the nail really nicely. Um, so I just go straight into base coat over the oil and I just do like one quick coat of it. I don't take too, too much care because um, I figure if this does get on the skin, I'll get it off during removal. And I just go ahead and put that on. And I do it both hands right away. That way it kind of has a little chance to dry. I always use base coat, you guys. I just feel like it really helps the polish stick. And I also think, you know, it helps with staining. So if you know you're prone to staining and you're not using base coat, I would definitely get some and try it. Um, the other base coat I've used that I really enjoy is the Beauty Secrets from Sally, Sally Beauty. Um, that's worked really well for me in the past as well, but this is what I'm currently using. Then I give that just a few seconds to kind of dry down to a little bit of a sticky texture. Um, and then I'm just going to go in with the People of Color Beauty. Um, I'm expecting this to have an amazing formula, so it probably will. Let's see what we think here. Oh, this is a gorgeous color, you guys. I am loving this green so much. Sort of like a sour apple green. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Um, I really enjoy the People of Color Beauty brush. And I'm going to do these two as my accent nails with the glitter. So I'm going to skip over those for now. And I'm going to go over to my pointer. Man, this People of Color is applying like a freaking dream, you guys. Look at how smooth and buttery that is. That is amazing. I have yet to be disappointed by a People of Color Beauty formula. So I'm excited to see. I think she's coming out with a new summer collection. And I'm excited to see what colors are in it. Because the formulas are just so, so good. 
So there are those three nails. Um, <clears throat> next, I'm going to go in with the Celebrate. So this is supposed to get opaque on its own. Um, let's see if it does. So it has some pretty good coverage. Oh, crap. I put my finger down on my pointer. It's hard for me to paint nails at this angle. I'm just not used to it. So you can see I did a little mess there. So I'm just going to fill that mess in. It's only the first coat, so that's okay. Um, so you can see that I got some pretty good coverage out of that glitter. Um, I'm going to go over to the other hand and start with the People of Color Beauty. I am really loving this color, you guys. I think it's so pretty. I'm very messy on my on non-dominant hand, so don't judge that. <laughs> I really have a hard time getting good control on this hand, especially at this angle. I'm painting really far away from my nails because of the camera angle. So um, it is a little messy, but I'll get all that in cleanup. Um what type of greens are your guys' favorite type of greens to wear? Do you like like mossy greens? Do you like forest greens? Do you like lime greens? Um, I'm more of a bright green type person, like a neon green person, but I do really appreciate um, like foresty greens and mossy greens as well. But like neon greens are my favorite, I think. Just because I enjoy you know, bright summery polishes. But I really have come around to some other types of greens, especially mossy. I really enjoy a good moss green um, in the fall. Okay, so I was hoping for a little bit better coverage on that glitter, but we'll see what we end up with. So I'm going to go back to the other hand and put on the second coat of the People of Color Beauty. So I'm going to call this a two coater. I feel like um, that is fully opaque on two coats. Like I said, these formulas, you guys, are just really, really awesome. Are just really, really awesome on these polishes. Um, if you have not tried People of Color Beauty, I would definitely... Um, check them out i know she's going to be putting out some new summer colors i'm not sure what those are going to be but i'm really excited to see um what she comes up with and i like that she um really takes darker skin tones into consideration because i feel like a lot of us darker skin tone girls don't get that a lot and we don't get um, things made specifically for us. So I do want to show some support for that because I feel like that is a big issue that people with um, darker skin tones face, people of color. So when someone says they are like catering to that i definitely want to show support for that because i feel like the industry or beauty industry has come around but not as far around as it could so the only way to kind of get more representation is to support the people that are doing the representation so i will definitely be supporting um this brand going forward Especially the product's good. The product is quality, which is important. Um, yeah, this Celebrate is not giving me the coverage that I was hoping for, but I may end up having to do four coats on it, but it is what it is, I guess. It is a fun glitter, though. It does have like a touch of green, which I do enjoy. Um, so I'm not going to go in anymore on the cream with any more polish. I'm just going to sit here and wait for these glitters to dry a little bit so I can go in with my third and fourth coats. I'm anticipating needing four coats. Um, and then I'll show you guys how I do cleanup and um, what I use for cleanup. So 
uh, let me know if you guys have tried People of Color Beauty and what you think about it, if you have. Or if you haven't, do you plan to um, going forward? I know a lot of people are like, oh, creams, creams, creams. And I get that. You know, when you have a lot of polishes, I totally understand that. But for me, um, <clears throat> I love a good cream. I really, really do. I'm going to take a sip of water. And when a cream has a good formula, you know, that seals the deal for me. <clears throat> so I'm going to go in for this third coat of Celebrate. Um, I feel like I'm getting close to opacity, but I will definitely put on um, a fourth coat, which is kind of sad, but that's what I'm going to do. Well, let me see. Let me let me pull my hand back and see. I actually think I'm going to stick to three. I think I'm getting pretty good coverage on three coats there. So, um, after I put on this coat, we will go in to clean up. So, I ended up skipping polish pickup for the month of um, March, and I don't know if I'm going to regret it. <laughs> I bought some stuff that I wasn't planning on buying, and I'm trying to really stick to this low buy, and it's just not working out. And so I felt like I needed to um, cut back somewhere, you know. So I decided to do it. And I'm a little bit like, am I going to regret this later? Um, so this is my cup for cleanup. I'm actually going to switch out paper towels to um, a little bit not so clean paper towel for my cleanup. As you can see, this one's just like kind of already been used for cleanup. Um... So this is my cup. I picked this up at Sally Beauty Supply. This is where I pour my acetone. Um, I use the e.l.f. concealer brush for cleanup. I am kind of needing a new one. This one's a little raggedy. And then I just use um, pure acetone. This is professional nail polish remover. Um, I get this at Walmart. I feel like you pure acetone does the best cleanup um, when you use like acetone with additives I just don't think you get as good a cleanup line so I just pour a little bit of acetone in the cup then I dip my brush in I blot to the paper towel and then I come in to my um I don't know how good you're gonna be able to see this I come into my cuticle and just like get all the extra polish off where I made a mess and try to make as straight of a cuticle line as I can. Um, the blotting is important so that you don't go into the nail with too much acetone. Um, you can either take off more than you want to or like the acetone can splash all over the nail and then take off polish like not even around the cuticle but in other areas. So that's why I always like to blot down. I think it just helps have a little more control. I'd rather have not enough acetone than too much acetone on cleanup. Getting glitters on the hand is a little bit hard because um, the acetone will take some of it off, but then you'll have to go in later after you wash your hands. Like once your nails dry, you go in and um, or at least that's what I do. And then I scrub that glitter off. So again, I'm at a really weird angle for me. And um, stuff isn't going to look as neat as it normally does when I'm like doing things how I'm used to. But you kind of get any idea. I feel like once I figured out how to clean cuticles, um, my manicures just looked so much neater. So if you haven't started doing this and you're looking for ways to neaten up your manicure I would definitely look into a cleanup brush and um, cleaning around the cuticle um, then I just go in for the other hand this is the messier hand um I definitely made a mess today filming yourself paint your nails for me is kind of hard like finding the right angle and then I'm in this weird stage with my glasses where, um, so I can't see far and my glasses are fit for that. So, um, 
Sometimes when I have to see close, I have to take my glasses off and I see close better with my glasses off. So I'm like in this really annoying stage of like being a little too blind for my far vision that like my near vision is still good. And so it's hard to um, see up close with my glasses on. <laughs> and I thought that meant I need reading glasses, but my doctor said no. When you can't see close, that's when you need, need reading glasses. So I was like, okay. So I probably got a while for that, maybe. And then when that happens, I will need, um, I made a mess on my finger here. When that happens, I'll need bifocals, which is going to be interesting. <laughs> I remember when my dad first got bifocals, like he could not get used to them. And he would like pick his head up and down and up and down. And we would laugh because we were like, oh my God, stop doing that. And he's like, I can't see. <laughs> he was like, I haven't figured out how to like put my head yet to use my bifocals. So that'll probably be me here soon. <laughs> the joys of um, aging, right? But I'd rather have the joys of aging than not to age because getting old is a privilege and a lot of people don't get to do it. So every time I complain, I think of that. <laughs> I know a lot of people in my life did not get to age and um, I want to get to age. Man, that glitter is really stuck on there. I will probably scrub that later on after my nails dry just because I made such a mess. <clears throat> Are you guys loving this green as much as I am? Because, man, I am loving this green. It's just like the perfect, um, like I said, like sour apple color. I have a couple of other greens this color, but the formula on this is just so much nicer. It's really shiny on its own, too. I will still put on top coat, of course, but if you were in a hurry or you don't wear top coat, this is very shiny. I'm not showing you anything because I'm not on camera. <laughs> okay, so that's all the cleanup I'm going to do because I'm just at a weird angle. So there are my nails. Next, I'm going to go in with a glossy top coat. Um, this is the one I've been using when I swatch, and I'm just going to try it now to see if it is quick drying enough for me. This is Believes Beauty... This is Believe Beauty Gel Effect Top Coat. Um, nowhere on the bottle does it say quick dry, so that has me a little concerned, <laughs> but we will see. And usually what I do is I just come in and I um, put in a nice thick layer of top coat to really seal in, and then I t make sure to t top coat the tips of my nail because that kind of helps with chips. So I just kind of go around the top like that. Of course, everything looks super messy because, like I said, I'm at a weird angle. Usually I'm not so, like, haphazard <laughs> with my manicuring. And usually I don't make so much of a mess, but I'm just, this is a weird thing for me here. This is probably why I don't film these so much. So you can see there everything all top coated how pretty that looks um that is beautiful you guys um i'm gonna top coat the other hand this polish was really shiny on its own but i feel like the top coat even brought it out some more and then these glitter nails just they need that top coat because they're textured and it kind of seals everything in I am not super in love with that glitter, you guys. I expected that to perform a little bit better than it did. Um, I have some other Ghetto Pick on its own glitters from China Glaze that just perform a lot better. So, I mean, it's not horrible, but it's not what I was expecting. Oh my gosh, this looks horrid. There we go. Okay, so there's my manicure. Oh, you guys, I love this combo. It's like perfect. 
This green is beautiful. I do like the combination together. I just wish that this glitter performed a tiny bit better. Um, so that is it. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. And if you're interested in seeing some more paint your nails with me, let me know and I'll try and squeeze some more in for sure. So that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, please click please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And I will link the People of Color Beauty website down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing. Um, and she does have an email list. I'm on it. I know a new summer collection is coming out. So if you guys want some more information on that, you can follow the mail list. Um, and I will link my review of her in the nude collection, which is on her channel now, so that you guys can um, check it out. There's some really beautiful nudes on the collection. So that's it. I hope you guys have a good evening. Bye.